I never in my wildest dreams thought I would get here. Born on a small farm in, in County Mayo, uh, I, my highest aspiration was perhaps becoming a primary teacher and that was my mother's ambition in a way. When I got to UCG I felt truly liberated, it was uh, as if I had begun life in, in the real sense, in the real world and I had a wonderful time both uh, in terms of college activities but also in terms of my academic career which was inspired by Margaret Heavey. I did my PhD at, at Cornell and Ivy League uh, University and uh, again I had a shock to begin with, a culture shock as I found that uh, the students had to participate uh, more than the uh, professors and the students enjoy tearing each other asunder during seminars and discussions so I had to adjust to that but I came out at the end of it still alive and well and uh, had my PhD by 1966 and was about to begin my regular academic career. So I not only got a, a degree, a PhD at, uh, at Cornell but I got a wife as well and we went from there to Swarthmore College where I spent the next 13 years but in the course of that I had a sabbatical leave which we decided to spend in Dublin. And we had a wonderful year. And uh, then I went back to Swarthmore and uh, the chair of Latin became vacant in Trinity. I applied for it and became professor of Latin at Trinity in 1979. When I became a candidate for Provost, there was a lot of talk about the fact I was, of course, uh, a Roman Catholic. And, uh, but that was more in the newspapers than it was in my mind. I uh, attached no importance to it. Nobody else seemed to attach that much importance to it. It never came up during my uh, electoral campaign. And uh, to me, Trinity was a wonderful ecumenical place, and that was what mattered. The provostship changed my life and changed the life of my family as well. We uh, all had to move into the house, that beautiful house, uh, one Grafton Street. Uh, which the kids loved. My life as provost involved, of course, a great deal of social activity and uh, having a lot of extraordinary people visiting who always wanted to see the house and the house was a wonderful place in which to entertain them, so entertaining was a very large part of my life and I met some extraordinary people during that time. I have to say that um, I trace everything back to my years at in UIG. That was the truly formative, decisive period of change in my life. It uh, was such, a, such a, an education, not just in terms of the academic program, but in terms of the life of the place and the ethos of the place and the spirit of the place and all that it gave me. And it was in UIG that made everything that followed possible.